in this video we will discuss the problem geek and number string the problem says that geek has a string which is of size n which consists of characters from 0 to 9 so basically it consists of digits from 0 to 9 in the form of characters he wants to minimize the length of the string so basically geek wants to perform some operations such that the length of the string is minimized and in each operation geek can remove any two consecutive character if they are from this particular segment so let us say that we have been given a particular string here suppose that we have a particular string let's say we have a particular string as 2 3 then we have 7 and after that we have 1 2 and then we have 3 here so you can see here that we are getting this particular sequence as 1 2 so if two consecutive characters are either 1 2 2 1 3 4 4 3 5 6 6 5 7 8 8 7 0 9 or 9 0 then i'll remove them so let's consider the sample example here suppose we have 1 2 2 1 3 okay so let's quickly copy this example and see now if we have this particular example that is given here that is 1 2 2 1 and 3 so now if we will look at this particular example so we can obviously first of all see here that geek can get the string of length 1 in two operations let's see how so first of all what will happen geek can remove geek can simply remove 1 2 okay he can simply remove 1 2 because this is a sequence that can be removed after that he can also remove the two consecutive characters that is 2 and 1 because this is something that can be removed so after that the output will be 3 that is the length will be nothing but 1 because the string left will be only 3 and the length of this string will be 1 after this if we'll move to the next example so the next example is 1350 for 1350 we can observe that there is nothing that is same here so that is why we will not require it now in this case there can be a scenario let us say that we have something like this we have 1 then 2 okay suppose that we have something like this suppose we have 1 after that we have uh, something like uh, 3 2 okay and then we have something like 2 here okay if we have this thing so we need to understand that 3 2 can be removed because if we look here if we will look here then okay let's say the, this was 3 4 right so if we will look here so 3 4 can be removed because 3 4 is a con uh, consecutive pair that is satisfied because 3 4 can be removed so if i will remove 3 4 then what will happen if i'll remove 3 4 then 1 2 will come close to each other 1 2 will come close to each other and they will also form a pair how should i do it so basically for such kind of problems what we can do is if we were given 1 3 4 and 2 then what we can do is we can take the help of stack like what we can do is we can insert 1 into the stack then we'll insert 3 into the stack right after that we'll like when we when we insert 1 to the stack then we'll check that is the next element equal to 2 no because with 1 you need a pair of 2 so no we don't have it after that we'll insert 3 into the stack now we'll move to 4 so when we move to 4 for 4 we need 3 and do we need uh, do we have 3 at the top of the stack yes we have it so since we have 3 at the top of the stack what we will do is we'll simply pop it out after this we'll move to the next index right so when we move to the next index so we have 2 so now 2 is there and for 2 the corresponding element is nothing but 1 because for because either it could have been 2 1 or 1 2 so i can say that i can remove uh, this thing so that is why i will say that since the uh, 2 wants 1 only so 1 is present at the top so i'll remove this and after this you can see that my uh, string will be decomposed because 1 3 4 2 was there 3 4 got decomposed then 1 2 came together 1 2 also got decomposed like 1 2 got removed so basically nothing is left so that is why the stack size is empty so i can say that the string has been reduced to the minimal length that is the length becomes zero here right so you can understand for this we will use the stack approach because what we needed to do was we needed the last characters if you will see here when when 3 was inserted inside the stack and i was currently at 4 then 3 and 4 like 3 was removed from the stack that means 3 4 when 3 4 was overall removed from the string right in that case what happens one like this two should be checked with this one so that i can do using the last and first out concept that is nothing but the stack so that is why i'll be using a stack here right and talking about the characters so if suppose that current ith character is two uh, for the stack then i need what i need a one right that this is one thing that we need to notice if suppose that the current uh, character of the stack is four right if the ith ca character of the string is four in that case the corresponding character that i need is nothing but three right if if uh, you will observe here 
if i want 6 if i if i currently have 6 uh, as the ith element then the corresponding character that i require is nothing but 5 because either i can be 6 5 or 5 6 so that is why what you can observe is if the character is even then i require character minus 1 right that is uh, the corresponding character that i require is character minus 1 and similarly you can observe this thing that if the character is if the character is odd if the character is odd then i require the character plus 1 because if the current ith character is 3 then the corresponding character that i require for it in the stack is nothing but 4 if the character was let's say 7 then the corresponding character that i require is 8 so i can say that if the current character is odd then i need character plus 1 in terms of ascii right so let's uh, write this approach here so what we will be doing here is we will first of all declare a stack so stack uh, will be of uh, cons consisting of characters we'll name it as st then what we'll do is we uh, will uh, simply start iterating so uh, we'll say that for int i starts from 0 i is lesser than n and then we'll do an i plus plus after this we'll check that if the current stack is empty right if the current stack is empty if the stack does not have uh, a, any particular character in it then we can simply push the current character into the stack so we'll say that stack dot push the ith character of the string right if it is empty but if it is not empty suppose right so we will check that if it is not empty then is the current top character equal to the expected character because if the current character of the string is sfi then what is the expected character so i can say that i can find the expected character here i can find the expected character like with respect to the current ith character that is let's say the ith character is let's say if this thing if the ith character is let's say 3 then the corresponding character that i want at the top is 4 right so that is the expected like if i'll apply this expected function here then i should get this particular thing if it is the same if uh, it is same as the expected character then i should pop this particular uh, current top out of the stack right else if it is not so in that case what i should do is i should simply push this particular ith character into the stack right so in this case i after this part is over so we can simply return the stack size but we have still not implemented the expected function so in this case what we will do is expected function will uh, return the character here and we'll write the name as expected right and here we'll pass the character so let's say this character ch is passed current character s of i is ch now what is the expected character what is the corresponding character that is required because because if you will see if we had three then we need four right uh if we had zero then we need nine if we had nine then we need zero okay so if we had four then we needed a three so basically we can say that these will be the base edge cases right that if it happens if it happens that the character is equal equal to zero in that case the uh, character that i require expect expect uh, is nothing but 9 okay then only i can remove if the character is equal equal to let's say 9 in that case what i can say is i need the corresponding character as 0 right these are the base cases after this i will say that if the current character if it is uh, let's say even right if it is even so in that case what should i do if the current character like let's say this character is 4 right so I need the corresponding character as 3. So I, I can simply return what? I can simply return the character as ch minus 1. So I will return one lesser character, right? Otherwise, if it is odd, then I need what? If if the current character is 3, then I require a 4. So in that case, I'll say that I need to return ch plus 1 here. Right? That is what I'll be doing. Uh, now let's try and compile this code to see if we have made any mistakes here or it works fine. Okay, it says that this thing was not de declared. Okay, what was not declared? so we are getting some errors in the expected function okay let's quickly check this so what we have basically done here is first of all we have declared the stack as st right uh then we if it is not empty but we are getting this error on the line number 33 that is this particular line so if the st dot top if the stack is not empty and the top element is equal equal to the expected character is there any spelling mistake yes there is some spelling mistake so exp ect right now it should work fine yeah it works fine for the samples let's try and submit it as well to see if it works for all the cases or not so you can clearly observe that the solution was able to pass all the test cases that were given here not talking about the time complexity of our code so since we are iterating through the string exactly once so the time complexity will be order of n right and talking about the space complexity so since we have taken extra stack space for storing all the digits in the worst case so the, so that will take order of n time so this was the approach the time complexity and the space complexity if you have understood the question, make sure to comment down understood in the chat. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe the channel as well. Thank you and happy coding.